Hey guys, have you seen a uh, water tank? I've been on the hunt for a while now and uh, it's been a couple of days and uh, I think I might have spotted one in the grass. Let's go in for a closer look. Close enough to this water tank to uh, give it a proper look. Righto, let me start off with the full disclaimer. So, Vast, I approached Vast Explore because I really liked their product. We had a chat, they decided to send me one, a whole kit and caboodle for free. So, super stoked about that. Um, but I have been testing it pretty vigorously and just leaving it on my car and seeing how it goes because I'll, you know, I will not. Um, back a product unless I actually want to back a product so today we're talking about the water tank I've been going on about it for ages I talk about it to all my mates they're probably sick of hearing it now so let's start off with price you can get yourself a cheap water tank from Bunnings we all know that but how long do you how often do you use it and how practical is it is the question so the 18 litre tank is $130. The bracket to mount it to any roof rack is $140. And the tap kit is $79. That's exactly today on their website today. Now, I'm pretty sure if you sign up to their newsletter, you get 10% off the whole website. Also, I had a promotion, but it's gone now. <laughs> you just missed out. I was promoting it for ages. So, but I was hoping that, um, I was hoping that, uh, oh, my hat. I was hoping that um, I would get this video out before the promotion ended. So the question is really, what is the right criteria for a water tank? Now, everyone has their own version, I guess. A lot of, you know, I used to run the old PVC pipe down the um, side. I still got the brackets on there, which I should probably take off. I guess for me, if you want a water tank, you want to take a water tank without thinking that you're actually taking a water tank. That's, that's the way I see it. This thing has, is on my roof rack now, and uh, I don't... I have to remind myself that it's there sometimes so again that's that's a good thing for me so this thing what they do is a two-way tap so let me just climb up here so the two-way tap so to fill it up you plug in the hose and you turn this on and it fills up and now it's got a um, auto breather on the back so it won't overfill and it won't spill either way so that two-way tap I think is ingenious, it, it's just one entry point really. So you just fill her up, bolt your uncle, turn it off, plug it in, use it. I think that's a great idea. I think that's probably a real innovative thing in water tanks that, you know, a lot of people want to run pumps. I don't want to run pumps, so there's too much cable and too much wiring to be done. So the other thing I like is this quick release hatch here. That was pretty easy, eh? That was real easy. Now, that's so you can access your water tank at any time. Let me put you back on the tripod. That's so you can access your water tank at any time, which makes things, well, you know, if you want to just carry the water tank down to the campsite or if your car's not near you and want to rinse off or whatever, you can take this with you, which is awesome. Obviously, you're carrying 18 litres. You've got to have some sort of strength, I guess. But the how they come out, it just slides out. So let me show you. Now, <laughs> my car is pretty high, so <laughs> it pays to have a step. But on lower cars, that's not an issue to get off. Uh, I, it's not that much of an issue, to be honest. Uh, one thing to be wary on, don't lean on the tap as you're um, trying to pull it off, because you will wet yourself, which isn't really a big issue, I guess. Uh, I think it's just something to be mindful of. Right up. Another 
thing is the tap kit. This thing is actually quite ingenious. So, this thing here is a magnetic base. Obviously, pretty self-explanatory there. Then all you do is just hook that wherever you want it, which is pretty good. And it's just a tap to turn it on. All this is pretty simple stuff. It's not, um, complicated but it is high quality which I love I think it's a great idea great concept everything that they've done the way everything comes with everything so um, it's even got like this little rubber strap so when you roll your hose up you can roll it all on the strap and it keeps everything in together all the pieces just yeah they're plastic but it's like good quality plastic um, everything's simple it doesn't seem like it's just gonna break that's what I've noticed about everything about this. That's what I've noticed about this is everything on here, yes it is plastic and you could go overboard, but the quality of material that they've used on here is something they've um, definitely, definitely thought about and kept in mind with people in four wheel drives. Not bad if you ask me, oh that's warm. So let's cover the bracketry. The bracketry is a powder coated steel. You could use aluminium. I just think, I understand what everyone says out there. Look, I'm a baller maker, I understand steel. So I would rather steel bracketry, to be honest. Um, because if you take this in faraway places, aluminium can tend to crack. It doesn't hold its strength. Even though it is stronger, um, steel does have a place in the full drive industry with making bracketry. So how they've made the bracket is just super easy to install, super, light it's good quality quality everything about this product is quality so let's go let's cover some pros and cons so I'm just gonna rattle them off because there's a few so easy to use easy to fill being that it's portable it's got the auto breather and it doesn't leak now I've had just the water tank in my car and not, not even with the auto breather no water in the car which I think has been fantastic cons now I don't know if these are like cons I think these are more user cons that's that's all I can see is height now if you've got a tall vehicle like mine you're not getting into the undercover car parks that's definitely now although they have assured me at fast it's something I'm not wanting to test but they've claimed to me that if you hit something the way the bracket is it'll just slide off the back so you won't actually damage your car now that's where I think this bracket is ingenious where it holds it down firmly it ain't going anywhere but if you were to hit a tree branch on the track that you wouldn't just rip your whole roof rack off it would just actually slide off so I'm having faith and I'm not gonna want to test it but could be a bit of insurance there to assurance there to um, go off other con is because it's plastic it heats up uh, it'd be good in winter I guess um, it's definitely something you're going to be mindful of that in the afternoon if you wanted to use it you would have warm water which is probably what you want in the afternoon have a nice warm shower or do the dishes um, in winter it would be amazing but also too in the morning it would be freezing cold so being that it sits up there all the time for me and I just forget about it it does heat up I put my hand under it before and it's only like 10 30 and it's already hot <laughs> so um yeah so I guess final thoughts of this thing I'm gonna say it this thing is high quality 100% high quality it's everything about it is simple to use um, simple to use like everything's made of quality the parts are easy and they've they've got spare parts if you happen to damage parts on their website which I think when a product comes out and they have spare parts for their product it means you're not wasting stuff which I think is fantastic um, great work fast explore and, um, and that's about it guys so um, if you are in the market for a water tank I 100% this water tank is definitely one for a weekend away couple of nights um, even even if it's on the car and you go down the beach and you wash the kids feet off with sand perfect for that like that's it's an all round water tank for short day trips camping expeditions and you, you can actually bolt multiple onto the rack so definitely something to consider guys if this is something you're into go see Vast Explore link in the description thank you